Hello, you dirty, dirty people. Dirty people that need cleaning and lubricating because you're too dry. Your guitar might be dirty. Clean it. Your guitar might need some lubrication and uh, waxing and uh, uh, soaking in the fretboard and stuff. And your strings might be needing some speed. Uh, but also maybe uh, your cymbals are dirty as fuck. And maybe also the uh, uh, car. I don't know, where am I going with this? I'm going lizard spit. Now, um, I met Chris Webster years ago in Frankfurt. Couldn't make a video because my camera got stolen. And uh, uh, our path crossed and nothing happened. And then I said, just send me stuff. He never sent me stuff. And then I uh, met him at NAMM, did a video. People responded well to this video from NAMM, which was very much like, here's my stuff. And very, very, very kind of you know, infomercially. And he, he knows his stuff and he's presenting it in that way. But then people said, well, you test it. And now he sent me a big ass package and uh, we're gonna look at it. I can't test everything, but I'm gonna show you the range, tell you how much things are. Apparently all this stuff is, uh, he takes lizards, puts them in a blender and I go, and then it's the lizard guts, which no, it's all supernatural. I don't know the words. He would know, but it's it's good for the environment. No chemicals, apparently. I think he's a, is he a chemist or something? I don't know. He knows the shit and it's good for the environment. It's good for your instrument. It's never, uh, what's it called? Abrasive, adhesive, add something. It never hurts your instrument. So we're going to look at the full range. I had to look up some of the products uh, through distributors, like the cork grease, because his website is highly outdated and uh, most of the stuff isn't even on the website. Chris, you need a website designer that polishes that turret because your website is not pretty. Spend a bit of money, do a WordPress thing, or some of you out there, go work with Chris on his website and get free or trade Lizard Spit. So, Lizard Spit's fun. I mean, that's, that's a good word. You get it, by the way, at Musique Productive. I don't think Toman has it. I'm going to check it, but I think Musique Productive has the product, so that's good. Um, I'm going to grab whatever is in front of me and talk about it. So, he, here we have fretboard conditioner. Here we go. We put that right there because we have a beautiful camera on it. Come on. That's a sexy-ass shot. Uh, fretboard conditioner, that's what you put on there to make sure your fretboard is not dry. And you know what? We're going to test that right away. And this is a ultra high-end guitar. That's, you, you don't even want to know how much that is. So I'm going to trust this lizard spit. That's a cool name. Um, this is not a lizard spit rag, but I use that for my guitar stuff. And we're going to put some on here. Probably way too much. So realistically, that bottle's going to last you probably a lifetime. So I'm going to just rub that on here. As I do, you should really make sure, bonk, um, you take care of your guitars. You do make sure the fretboards are nicely lubricated and moist. Oh, that smells good. And also when your fretboard is treated that way, uh, you'll kind of play faster because somehow that goes on the strings and everything kind of just feels smoother. So you can see now it's, see, it's really nice and wet. I'll let that Sink in for a bit. I'll actually do that on the back too. Don't know if I should, but I will. Which is maple. So then take the access off. And that fretboard is a happy fretboard. I've been doing that for years on my guitars. Uh, using Dunlop products primarily. Um, for years I actually used something that was sold for violins. Um, but realistically, this is the shit to get. The spit to get, get it? And um, uh, this bottle will last you forever. So the fretboard conditioner, $16.95. Okay, you might say, what for a bottle, a bottle of me, 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 me. This is a, pretty much a lifetime supply, unless you have a hundred guitars. So that's done, beautiful. Um, fretboard conditioner, moving on. What do we have? Vintage instrument polish. P -p polish? What's polish? Vinst vin Vincent instrument. Vinti 
vintage instrument polish or polish no he's american um for all paint surfaces so when you have uh nitro paint or you want to make sure that your classic instrument isn't hurt that's the way to go why don't we just try that um, we'll probably put that on the rag huh probably open it first ah there's a little protector that of course you have to take off first Smells almost like nothing. So I put a little bit more on here. I don't know how much. Oh! Oh! Well, the thing is, this guitar is already artificially aged, so it's not going to get the dings and dongs out of it because, well, we don't want that. Yeah. But we're going to get it nice and shiny. And because it's made for vintage instruments, we know that it's very safe. It's not going to hurt the nitro finish. So now... We're polishing that off. Woo! Shiny! Woo! Neat! Vintage instrument polish. Valve oil. I have no idea what this is for. I had to look it up. Not even on the website. Come on, Chris! Um, that's when you play brass instruments and you want to oil your valves. And it's all safe. Good. I don't have a brass instrument. Uh, cork grease. I might as well put that on my lips because it's literally like a chapstick, you know. But uh, you put that on your mouthpiece for your brass instrument to grease the cork. It's not going to hurt the cork and you can easily get your mouthpiece on your brass instrument in and out of the instrument. Slick nuts. When your nuts are not slick enough, you use slick nuts. Uh, that's obviously for the well, nuts. Uh, very pointy tip up here. Look at that pointy tip. And uh, you use that on your nut to make sure it's super lubricated. It's based on graphite. It's graphite -y. And slick nuts will run you $16.95. That seems to be a price that he likes. $16.95 for the slick nuts. Then we have Little Spitz Axe Polish. That's when you don't have a vintage instrument and you want to polish your axe in a tiny, tiny way. Nice. Tiny little bottle of guitar polish. Um, we'll get that to that in a second. Um, okay. Uh, cleans and protects easy playing, faster shredding. Okay. A fresh and easy. That's good. That is for having on the table in front of you wherever you practice all the time. So that's a good uh, comparison because I use that kind of product every day. I use the Dario Accelerate. It's about 690, okay? Comes like this. You rub it over the strings and you're good to go. It literally feels like you have no strings on your guitar. And I know what the Accelerate feels like. Now the question is, how does the Lizard Spit hold up? These strings are well, rather nice because I, well, I just rubbed over it, but let's see. So you, of course, have to, uh, you have to push this in so it soaks up. See, now it's nice and wet. Oh, that was too much. Okay, Chris, not cool. So that's broken. That product needs work. I think that needs a real sponge on top, like the Accelerate, because there was one use and you're done. So what you do with it is you put it on a rag and, um, well, wrap the rag around the string like I used to do for years and um, do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say the Accelerate in terms of the applica the applicator is a better product. Um, as far as the stuff that you put on it, the actual liquid, I don't know. Look, I wish I could tell you other things, but this is literally what just happened uh, by using it once. So, can't, 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 can't fake it. Bless you, Leslie. In a non-religious form. Like, I bless you, not God bless you, you know? 
It is very lubricated. Okay. Um, good idea, bad execution. Then we have scratch and scuff remover, scratch and scuff finisher. Right there, in one package, lizard spit. I don't have any scratches or scuffs, so I can't remove them. Scratch, sketch and scuff remover and finisher, um, 1095. Here we have a whole set. Ah, and there's another other fresh for fresh and easy. I will try that at a later date. Uh, the same thing that just broke. So we'll see if that one's better. We have fretboard conditioner, which we just used, but there's a small bottle. And there's the axe polish again with a polishing cloth. And that's the spit kit. And that's pretty much all you need. I mean, also the, the amount is totally fine. That's the spit kit which is, so I'm gonna go with it's 35 bucks. I don't, I don't know, 35 or 25, one of the two. But that really has everything that you need. So the spit kit is probably what you're looking for. Then um, we have guitar polish, which is probably, yeah, that looks like it. That's the same thing as the little, little spits, just shop size. This is probably for a shop. This is for the individual. This will last you a long time. This is if you do this every day. And thank you for sending all this stuff, Chris. Very nice. Microphone sanitizer for a studio, especially in the Corona times. Very nice. Also that size, not for, for home use. This is if you have a studio or if you're running around, you're doing um, interviews, that's a good idea for NAM, for example. Um, here we have drum shell and hardware cleaner polish. If you're a drummer, and since drum shells are bigger, this size is probably realistic. I can't test it. I don't have, well, I have a drum kit in the basement, but it's not dirty. Okay, um, then we have guitar polish. So that's for home use. That's for a shop. That's for a bigger shop. So there's three different sizes. Um, the Spit Shine Quick Detailer. I think that's for cars. If you have a car, get the Spit Shine Quick Detailer and detail your car. I don't know, I never do that. Uh, I could give this to Leslie because Leslie's car is continuously really dirty and she doesn't think cars need to be cleaned. So maybe that's my Christmas present for you. No. What, what do you mean, no? No, th this is what you get from me for Christmas. Leslie, come on. What do, what do you mean you're not cleaning your car? You got to clean your car at some point. No, you don't. What do you mean, no, you don't? <sighs> Bitches be crazy. What can you do? Oh, I'm going to get so much shit for that. <laughs> um, also, I have a piano, but it's not all black and shiny, so I don't know if that's meant for that. It's like a wooden thing. But here's piano polish. Thank you for sending that. If I ever get a grand piano, uh, and piano polish, just for the people that need to know. Oh, by the way, the mini guitar polish is five ninety five. The big guitar tech polish is sixty ninety five. He likes the sixty ninety five, and the lizard spit guitar polish is ten ninety five. So uh, six bucks, eleven bucks, seventeen bucks. Go for the seventeen. You'll never need guitar polish for the rest of your life. Uh, where's the piano stuff? Sixteen ninety five. Who would have thought? Sixteen ninety five for the piano polish thing. Um, then we move on to symbol polish. It's simple polish instead of complex polish. Get it? Simple mm. and symbol cleaner. He actually shows really, really, really dirty symbols when he does the demo um, and shows how you can really get them clean. The problem is my symbols, which I do have, are not dirty. I got this, and that's not dirt, that's just where it isn't polished. I don't know if I, if I can wreck this. I'm gonna try. I mean, then, then Meinl's never gonna get this back in the, this is really good ride. Like, is it even a ride? No, that's the crash. Where's my ride? Okay, well, you can clean it uh, if you unlock it. Um. Ah, 
pump for half an hour and get your hands all dirty. Um, so, let's see. Wow. Shit comes off it. Okay. And then when you're done, obviously we have to remove this. Put the symbol polish on there, on a corner of the rag that hasn't been used. Get it? Symbol, complex pot, and... Ooh. Holy shit! Compared to over here, where it's all been touched and whatever. That's a shiny symbol. Symbol of my polishing. Holy! You, right there, can you see? Yeah, you can definitely see where all of a sudden it gets very, very shiny. Holy crap. Can can go front camera. Can you see that? Oh wait. Yeah, right there. Not right there. Whee! Drummers will kill me. Uh, so, symbol polish for the drummers. Drummers through uh, microfiber cloth for cleaning. The 10 bucks each, I think that's a little bit much for a tiny, tiny little cloth. Literally, probably what I have in my pocket for cleaning my glasses, which you get for free from the optometrist. Optometry, optometry, so, don't know if I can recommend that at 10 bucks. It kind of is something that can throw it in, I think. Um, what else do we have here? Fretboard conditioner in small. Bam! This rag is now dirty. Um, fretboard conditioner, small. Probably enough for most people. So, um, another small fretboard conditioner. I am so hooked up with Lizard Spit for literally the rest of my life. Here is a fretboard polishing system. And um, I have two of them. I'm gonna open one and look at it. I don't know how to open it. So, comes with a microfiber cloth, fret that you put on top of the frets to protect the fretboard. Okay, two different sizes for smaller frets and bigger frets. And then you have these. Oh, oh, okay. I'm gonna try to show you this. Inside here is a whole bag of these fret polishy thingies. I'm gonna try this uh, on the Harley Benton that we just built. Obviously, it makes sense to take the strings off, which of course I'm not gonna do. So, you put this like this on the fret. And this is uh, drenched in some kind of thing that he does. So now you can just, whoa. Can you see how black that got? But it's so drenched that that material, that uh, wax, will definitely get on your fretboard. But I don't think that's the problem. Uh, it's, it's just supposed to protect the fretboard from you scratching on it. And obviously much, much better without strings on it. Whoa. So really easily done if you have no strings on it. Gonna rub that off. And obviously now I've got the, 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 the gunk on my fretboard, which isn't the problem. So you just rub that off. This is a very, very cheap DIY guitar from Harley Benton where the frets definitely would need polishing. And the one I did shows a clear difference to the ones I didn't do. Um, neat. That's definitely a cool thing to have, which I will keep in my arsenal uh, for guitar stuff. And obviously, I would say probably you go through, if you do the whole fretboard, maybe four, maybe five of these, something like this. Uh, you're not gonna do this probably not even once a year. So this will last you a while, but if you run out of them, you can get extra packs of refill pads for fret polishing system. Right there. I feel like I'm actually now really equipped to take care of my instruments. Uh, Thank you, Chris, for this. Uh, I hope you guys get an overview of what Lizard Spit can do for you. It's all organic, made from Lizard Spit. I don't know. He, he's, he's some crazy genius that 
puts the stuff together in his basement and then fills it up in little bottles and sells it to you for $16.95, primarily, or other things. The fretboard polishing system is $16.95. And the fretboard, okay, and the refill is $5.95. So get the fretboard polishing system for $16.95 and um, get a couple of refills and you're good for life. Nice. I literally spend a hundred bucks on his website and you probably never have to go back because you've got everything that you need. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, guys. I'll link to his website, which needs an overhaul, trust me. Um, and uh, I might also link to uh, Musik Produktiv, who have it in stock. Uh, I don't make money on those links. Uh, so buy it, make Chris happy, make yourself happy. And uh, animals at the end. Father, I have lost my way. I left the path I went astray. But I could have become someday Father, have I lost my